Hello once again, my frightful little ghouls and goblins. Taylor here, your casual crib keeper and local tinfoil hat wearer. I keep stitching together clips of UFO sightings and you keep eating them on up. Who am I to deny my audience? Let's get ready to squint real hard at some black dots shooting across the sky as we open our eyes for the top five UFO sightings in 2023 we can't ignore anymore. Part seven. Here we go. Who's still ignoring these at these points? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you think we can make it all the way to part 10. I sincerely think we can. I want there to be more parts of this series than there are Fast and Furious movies and I know you can help me get there. Let's dive on in. Number 5. El Cajon, California. Our first clip today comes from the beautiful Californian city of El Cajon. Let's take a look at something strange that was spotted in the sky that's got the locals talking. This clip was captured and posted to Reddit by user Exporius. Oh, Exporius, that's fun to say. Say that at home if you haven't yet. Let's take a look at the clip first. Pretty interesting stuff, huh? Definitely something that makes you want to take another glimpse. When it was posted to Reddit, Exporius sounded off in the comments and offered a little bit of context as to what was going on. Here it is. Three black spheres appeared overhead my apartment complex in the afternoon in El Cajon, California. The objects were unlike balloons, rotating around each other and seemingly unaffected by the wind. My partner, who you can hear talking in the background about UFOs, agrees that the shapes were moving in an odd formation relative to the wind. They were also flickering in the sky, disappearing in and out of visibility, not at all like the metallic reflection of a mylar balloon. The objects disappeared shortly after my girlfriend made me stop filming to go inside. Suddenly, the spheres whipped around about 90 degrees and vanished. Oh, his girlfriend made him stop filming to go inside. Imagine we had the perfect like evidence of UFOs, but somebody had to stop filming because they had to go unload the dishwasher. Anyway, Exporius finishes off by saying, very strange, I have no idea what these are. And neither do we. This clip garnered a lot of attention in the subreddit where it was posted, getting people chatting about what it could possibly be, although with any Anything like this, there were a fair share of skeptics. Some dismissed the sighting as being nothing more than a flock of birds moving in on a particularly strange triangular fashion, while others suspected it could have been drone. What is a bird if not a feathery drone? So what do we think, my fair viewers? Something worth writing a UAP report on, or was this something a real bird brain posted? You let me know down below, okay? And wow, I've got you. If you're not already subscribed to Top 5 Scary, now would be a great time to fix that mistake. We got loads of UFO clips. I mean, we're on part seven of this series. You know we got UFO clips. Storytelling, cryptids, monsters, mythologies, terrible stories, stories too good to be real, and stories too real to be good. Stay subscribed, don't miss a scream, but keep watching this video first, okay? Moving on. Number four, from a pilot. Our next clip was posted by the History Channel, of all places. I guess technically if a UFO did appear to us, that, that would be like a pretty big part of history, right? Still, it's funny to me that that's where I'm getting my UFO clips these days. This clip isn't some blurry footage shot from somebody staring right up at the sun. Instead, we have a front row seat from a B-320 pilot's cockpit as a pilot over a commercial flight in Colombia saw something truly bizarre that they couldn't explain. Why don't you take a look at this cuboid UAP that looks out of this world. Let's roll the clip. A metallic looking object that's got a bizarre shape, almost looking like somebody's rolling a giant D-20 through the sky, comes hurtling into frame. When you slow it down, it does look a lot like a flying cube, so if you were worried about the Borg coming to a similar us. This might just be that proof confirming that. Now, in the excerpt from the History Channel clip, they theorized that what this could be could be a probe or a drone of some type for an alien civilization sending out a first wave of scouts before the rest of the party gets here. And this strange object could be one of those drones trying to sneak on by but being caught on camera. Now, not everyone is as convinced as our friends of the History Channel. More than a few viewers have thought that what that could have been caught in the sky here is nothing more than a balloon and some strange angles are making it look a lot more alien and cuboid than it really is. So what do we think? Scouts from another civilization coming in to suss out the situation? Or is this clip posted by people who are just full of hot air? I'm getting punny today. Number three, Arizona. Our next sighting comes to us again from our favorite friend for strange clips of flying objects. You know it and I know it. It's the UFO subreddit. Seeing as how we're on part seven, I think I owe the moderators and users of the UFO subreddit, <coughs> a top five congressional medal of honor. There you go. Anyway, this 
next clip posted by user Giancarlo the Great showcases a UAP caught on camera in Phoenix, Arizona that's got everybody sounding off. Let's roll the clip and see if you can stay silent watching this. Now it's hard not to see what the original poster was talking about because I'm pretty sure you saw the flashing lights floating eerily in the sky like a beacon. What's kind of funny is that the same day from the same location, Phoenix, Arizona, another user on Reddit unintentionally recorded another angle of the exact same sighting or at the very least the same object on a similar trajectory. And in that clip we can see it pulsating a bit. It looks a little more circular from here. In fact several commenters across both of these videos commented that they all saw this in Phoenix. So it's possible that this sighting is bigger than we think or that there's just not much going on in Phoenix, Arizona. No offense, I've never been, I'm sure it's lovely. I'm not sure which is more likely or which scares me more. Now I've got to admit this one's got me raising my eyebrows just a little bit because I can't quite figure it out just yet. Some users on Reddit suggested that they thought what this could be is something being dragged in the sky with some users suggesting that it looked like something was tethered and this could be a, a custom drone or a nighttime kite which side note was not something I knew anyone did but I've since learned is kind of a hobby. I'm now wondering how many years of UFO footage has all just been kites with like LED straps attached to the back of them because I'm starting to suspect it was most of them. So what do we think? Aliens? Kites? <laughs> Either is possible really. Number two, Metapod. Our next clip comes to us from Instagram with the pretty funny caption, Metapod strikes again. You'll see what I mean in a moment. But I will say, this is basic stuff. Everybody knows Metapod can only use Harden. Zero out of ten. Go back. Do a lap. Now we featured clips from this particular UAP or style of UAP before on this channel. Maybe the brand or whoever manufactures these crafts. So it's fitting that the caption is Metapod Strikes Again. Well this particular thing baffled me the last time I talked about it and it's baffling us again all the way here. So here it is one more time. Let's roll that clip for you. Now a quick aside for my viewership who aren't big gamers out there. Metapod is a Pokemon that's shaped like a cocoon and I can definitely see where this Metapod comparison comes from. That's definitely what this creature looks like, like some sort of strange cocoon. It seems organic to me in a very weird way, you know? As if unlike a lot of other UAP sightings, this thing is something that's actually alive on its own. It almost looks like it moves a little, you know? Like it wiggles just a little bit, like it's got a little jiggle to it. Are you following me with this? I also feel like it looks a bit like a floating beehive. Maybe this thing is kind of like a Rorschach test. You see what you want to see. Now the fact that this thing keeps popping up with different sightings definitely has me very curious as to what it could possibly be. Also, if there's any Rick and Morty fans out there, I swear this thing has like the exact same silhouette as the giant head that appears in the Get Swifty episode that asks humanity to show it what it's got. Maybe that's why this thing keeps coming back. We haven't shown it what we've got yet and nobody has performed Get Swifty for it. So maybe get on that and maybe we can appease this thing. Number one, Sean Cahill. Our final clip for us today comes to us from Sean Cahill, a UAP enthusiast and a former Navy serviceman who is a veteran of 20 years, who in his retirement has become a decently big name in the UFO community as we set out there to look for the truth. Why don't you take a look at this clip he posted on Twitter and see if you can spot the UAP hovering up above. They'll circle it in red too, don't worry. <laughs> now we get a beautiful look at a mountain range, looks like a Windows XP background and something very strange floating slowly slowly moving across the horizon. Something flat looking like a disc, looking like a real classic flying saucer looking thing straight out of the movies. Now, at first glance, it's definitely got my attention because it's not often you get UAP clips that are this broad in daylight and this clear in view. I'm used to somebody shaking it around like they put their phone in the drying machine. Now, as always with stuff like this, I like to call attention to the more skeptical side of things because I think that gives us an air of credibility. More than a few people on Reddit suggested that this really could be something as uninteresting as just a plane moving slowly through the horizon and looking at something like a short takeoff and landing private plane, it definitely seems like it would be very easy to make that mistake. But I personally want to believe that a 20 year Navy vet would know what a civilian plane would look like. So as always, my ghouls and goblins, I'm tossing this one over to you. My gang in the comments, what do we think? Could this be an alien presence caught on camera or is this just a plain hoax? Plain, like like plain, that's a, that's a little pun for you. That one's just for the scholars. You're gonna get that on the car ride home. Well, that's about all she wrote for this one, my delightful little ghouls and goblins. You take it easy now. 
Creep on, creeping on, and I'll see you all in the next one. So long as the men in black don't wipe my memory completely. Take it easy. <laughs> it out just yet. Oh, I got such a scratch in my throat. Wow. Some users on Reddit.